people would say to me, you think you want to be white? You like those guys? It's like, I never thought of them really as white guys. They were the Beatles. They were colorless, you know, and they were fucking amazing. The Beatles gave me this idea that everybody was welcome. If you weren't the hippest kid in the neighborhood, it didn't matter because you could be a Beatle fan. And I liked that. And that sort of carried me into these older days where it's like I am my own person. I can look the way I want it, I can be the way I want, and it's okay. And I got that specifically from them. Fresh after their appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show, where over half the country was watching, the four English musical stars with their pudding bowl haircuts were mobbed by about 4,000 shrieking teenagers when they got to the Plaza Hotel. We had the whole floor in the plaza. And the four of us ended up in the bathroom just to get a break from the incredible pressure. No, let me. Yeah. Me! Me! Television! Me! Me! You! Me! You! you. Me! After you, sir. Cut. But we loved it. To pick up a small transistor radio was the first time in New York. And here you're coming out the radio. Ah, it was mind-blowing. Hey, this is John Lennon of the Beatles on 1010 W-I-N-N. Now, we just want to tell everybody that this was the Beatles station. They're taking over. They're telling us what to play. Hello? Their manager's name is Mr. Brian Epstein. Looking back now, it was Brian Epstein. He was the guy who got us famous, really. Brian was class. That was what Brian was. He was like Liverpool class. Well, Brian was 27. He was a grown-up. He had a car. <laughs> right. The Beatles' parents were Liverpoolian, working-class people that had been through a war. Our playgrounds were bomb sites. His parents ran a record shop. Well, it seemed a funny sort of world for a young man like you to be in. How did you get into it? How did you start? I heard about them through uh, a lad who was asking for a record by them in one of my stores, or my family's stores, in October 1961. Growing up, my mom always wanted me to talk proper. You know, all of us, really. You know, I could talk like I'm from Liverpool, but you, I'm telling you, don't give me any hard time. Whereas Brian was very well-mannered, very well spoken, so we felt we could trust him. I went down to see them in Liverpool at the Cavern Club. They were fresh and they were honest, and they had what I thought was a sort of presence, and this is a terrible, vague term, star quality. Whatever that is, they had it. Thank you. 